as you can see it says oops there's been an error it tells the user why they've reached the page how they might fix the problem and other things that they might like to try um, this bit here at the bottom is a Google widget and it suggests what they want, might want to search for and then you click Google search and it will search just your site and your site only giving results and the top result is the track plan which the user was presumably looking for. Um, so how to include this on your site? You need two files, a .hc access file and also your custom error message file. So first things first, open up notepad and type into it error document 404 forward slash and then this is the link to the custom error message that you want to display. So mine's called 404.php and it's in the root of my website. Now this bit's really important. You go file save as and then you need to make sure that you save it as .ht access. It can't have a file name, it's just an extension. If your computer doesn't allow you to do this, you need to call it, say, something like 1.ht access, and then when we upload it, you can then change the file name in your FTP client to just .ht access, and hopefully it should work, but hopefully you shouldn't have any problems with this. So save it. Uh, click replace because I've already got this file in my website anyway, yes. And then we'll just have a quick look at the code for the 404 <coughs> error page. This is basic code of my site. And as you can see, it's really simple HTML and a little bit of PHP. Uh, why they've reached the page, how they might want to fix the problem, and also other things that they can try. This is the uh, Google script which I was talking about earlier. <clears throat> Don't worry about any of the code. I'll leave the code for the .ht access file in the description. And also I'll link you to a page on Google uh, with the widget on and you just copy the code and paste it in where you want it. So now what we need to do is upload these two files to your website and also we need to make sure that it's turned on. So to do this, we go into your FTP client. I use Qt FTP. Um, we select the 404 page and also the .ht access. Simply drag and drop it across. Overwrite the two files because these already exist. And then I was talking about turning the .ht access on. To do this, we click it right click and then we select chmod uh, it might be slightly different in other FTP clients but this is how you do it for Qt FTP and we need to make sure that it's set to 644 which means me as the owner can read and write it uh, groups can just read and the public can just read it this is a must must do because if not it won't work properly uh, so it's saying that it's changing the H, uh, sorry, the CH mod for it. We go OK, and then that's everything done in the FTP client that we need to do. So if we go back to one of my four, well, my 404 error page, um, and let's have a look at the content of it. I've got why they might have reached the page because they might have typed the URL wrong. Really basic one there. Um, I might have typed the link wrong in my code somewhere um, and could they contact me simple mail to the link uh, so they can send an email to me and then also maybe if it's an external link from a different website maybe they have typed the link wrong and that's why the visitor can't access whatever page it is so still contact me and maybe I could contact the person who uh, the link was uh, you know, incorrect and tell them the correct link for the page that they wanted to have on their site. Uh, how to fix the problem? Again, all of this is short and sweet. It needs to be to the point and snappy. Uh, you don't want loads and loads of words, otherwise people aren't going to read it. Uh, check that they type the URL incorrectly. Fairly obvious one there. A back button. This is just a simple JavaScript back button. In fact, you can see it at the bottom. Uh, it says JavaScript 
colon history dot back open brackets one close brackets. Um, that's just a simple back button. Also, they can click the back button here and they might want to go back to the index of my site. And the other thing is this is the Google widget here. Um, and that's basically it for my 404 error page. As for the Google uh, widget, I've got the page up here. Um, all you need to do is select your language, so I'm English United Kingdom, and then it produces this code. You then just copy and paste this code into where you want it to display the widget, and then change this bit that's in bold to your website, so mine's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.gofund.co.cc and then that's it uh, thank you for watching this video if you have any comments or questions please don't hesitate to contact me